Despite a few false alarms over the years, there has never been repeatable, verifiable evidence of life outside this planet. If and when it ever happens, it will be inarguably the single most important public announcement ever made. Every human with access to the outside world will want to know, especially in this era of official channels often being beaten to the punch by some anonymous Twitter user. Being the one who breaks the news to the world first is a guaranteed spot in history. So, how would officials handle the most valuable piece of information that's ever existed? Researchers have learned some tough lessons over the years. The infamous WOW signal that was detected in 1977 was reported before being verified through repetition, and that caused many to become instantly certain that alien life was out there. The fact that nothing more came of it turned into supposed proof that world governments were covering something up. The reality was much simpler. Nobody was sure that it actually meant anything. In June of 2017, Dr. Antonio Paris finally determined that the signal was caused by enormous clouds of hydrogen around two comets that were in the right region to be captured in 1977. The WOW signal frequency at 1420 MHz was the same as what hydrogen naturally transmits, and one of the comets transmitted a signal that matches the pattern of the WOW signal. So, 40 years later, the case appears to be closed. But the horse is already long out of the barn. You won't have to look very hard to find someone claiming that Dr. Paris's results are simply part of some enormous global conspiracy. And the WOW signal isn't the only time that important information has been released prematurely. You can't really blame an excited researcher for jumping the gun, but it's bad policy in a world where news travels very fast and gets corrupted along the way. So are we really supposed to wait for up to 40 years for a potential signal from space to be exhaustively vetted before we even hear about it? That could mean that signals have been pouring onto this planet since disco was cool, but we simply don't know about them yet because a handful of researchers somewhere aren't convinced. Well, no. That's almost certainly not the way things would work. The efficiently named International Academy of Astronomics SETI Permanent Committee actually has a protocol in place. The protocol has three central pieces. The verification process should be as wide-reaching and as thorough as possible, across facilities, organizations, and even countries. There should be no premature declarations during verification, but any media inquiries should be answered honestly. So basically, maybe, but we're still looking into it. If a detection is confirmed by consensus to be intelligently alien, the person who discovered the signal will report the findings to the world, and specifically to the Secretary General of the United Nations. There will be no response to any verified alien signals without consultation with a broadly representative international body first. Stephen Hawking has urged humanity to be extremely wary about responding to messages from space for our own good, so maybe it never even happens. But the reality is that step one would already get the entire world into an uproar, if it even takes that long. SETI appears to know it too. The protocol is, at best, a faint hope of how things would go down. And who knows what might happen if the monumental discovery is made by someone with less patience for good science or Stephen Hawking's concerns. There are no persecutable laws governing messages sent into space, so pretty much anyone could be the first to respond. That should probably sound quite ominous. So after the verified discovery, what happens then? Unfortunately, probably not much. The signal is likely to have taken hundreds, thousands, or even millions of years to arrive here on Earth, and there isn't much we can do to quickly reply, even if we wanted to. That's assuming that we can distill any kind of coherent message from a burst of radio information from the cosmos. And any kind of travel to meet our celestial pen pals is out of the question for the foreseeable future. If the signal was sent from a vessel on its way here already, though, that might be a much different story. We simply can't know until it happens. Here on Earth, though, most experts predict a wide swath of public responses. There will likely be political power struggles over who should represent the entire Earth's population in a response, if that's the next step. Dr. Paul Ziolo imagines public reaction as a mass of range from paranoia to jubilation to despair. For some people, anything from the outside is going to threaten power structures. For others, it's the gods they've been waiting for. So it all seems to depend on a lot of factors. The friendly or threatening nature of the message, the distance from which it came, maybe even the level of intelligence that seems to shape the message contents. Experts agree that it's a pointless exercise to craft detailed procedures for handling first contact. They're likely to be ignored anyway, and it's impossible to imagine all scenarios. In the meantime, all we as a species can do is sit and wait. And while we're all waiting, here's a question for you. Let's say in 15 minutes from right now, you learn that there had been a confirmed receipt of alien communication from, let's say, 200 light years away. What's the first thing that goes through your mind? Let me know in the comments. 
If you like this video, make contact with the like button and subscribe for more from the Wild AC channel. Thanks for watching.